very well could be the future for special forces in the military. You need to know that I am very committed to this. At a conference of engineers and defense executives, the head of Special Operations Command is talking about Talos, the tactical assault light operator suit, or in other words, Iron Man. In the Hollywood version, Robert Downey Jr. straps on the suit and he's ready to go. The Talos suit, as seen in this Army animation video, won't fly, but it's supposed to be a lightweight suit of armor. It's not going to be easy by any means, but we are in the realm of possible to make this happen. Exobionics is a Richmond, California-based company which has already developed a bionic exoskeleton designed to help those who wear it carry heavier loads. The idea of an Iron Man suit for the military really isn't all that far-fetched. In fact, motorized exoskeletons that help the paralyzed to walk have been in production for years. Army Sergeant Teresa Hannigan, who lost the use of her legs, demonstrated how exoskeletons work. Well, Raytheon, another defense contractor, is also interested in the Talos program and tout their own exoskeleton platform. The idea behind Talos is better protection, especially for special forces who, quote, have to open the door not knowing what's behind it. Technology has really advanced in the, in the past 10 years, and you don't see that same level of, of advancement for, for soldier protection and their gear. Right now, Talos is only an idea, and as the Army's animated video indicates, to be continued. Bob Lawrence, 10 News.